Yipes is Marvel vs. Capcom. Yo! Yo, Magic, yo! Clip that shit! He's an Evo champion. The voice of fighting games for an entire generation of players. Even after Marvel faded away, Yipes kept its flame burning. And in the game's darkest hour, 20 years after it first came out, Yipes brought a dead game back to life. Oh, he's so Pringles. Where your curly mustache at? Scoops. Scoops. Hagen dies. Yipes started playing fighting games in 2003, and while that might sound late for one of the scene's OGs, he actually started out as an FPS player. But after his computer broke down, Yipes decided to head out to the arcade and try something new. Yipes fell in love with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The game was explosive, but deep. Accessible, but incredibly complex. For Yipes, it was the perfect fighting game. You would literally sit there for like an hour, even a, a days on end. I used to lose sleep on Marvel 2. Like there were times I wouldn't even sleep for like a day and a half. Eventually, Yipes outgrew his first arcade and moved on to the legendary Chinatown Fair. So like when you go to like other arcades or like your corner stores that play games, people come up to, hey man, like you're good, but you ever been to Chinatown? They got a really big arcade there called Chinatown Fair. And like, that's where all the best players play. And even if you've never been to Chinatown Fair before, you know that that place exists and it's like legendary. Chinatown Fair, NYC, that's literally where I met all of my closest friends and what changed my life forever. For Yipes and the other OGs, competing was just for fun and glory. Prizes were very small, and people didn't really travel the country to become the best in the world. It was a time when regional rivalries reigned supreme. Usually when I'm nervous is when um, I have that pressure of representing my coast. So for example, like if I know there's, some, there's something big on the line, when I realize that like I have a whole coast behind me really watching my back and I don't want to let them down, yeah. when I start really getting into that mind state, that's when I start getting nervous. But I didn't know that that East Coast, West Coast like rivalry oh, yeah, was yeah, yeah, actually was serious. I didn't know. So tournaments were for glory, but the cash came from money matches. Hey, I'll come out of work and we'll just put the money up. How would the mechanics of it go down? Would you put the money on the, on the Call board? Them out. Let's go, let's do a first of five, 50, 100, five tens, 15 quarters, pennies, whatever. We was just broke at the time. We're not broke, but you know. Yeah. If you, wanna, if you get any, loose, any type of loose change, you can. Well, the winner, that is. Yipes was consumed by Marvel. It wasn't just his favorite fighting game, it was his life. And in 2007, Yipes won Evo, beating Justin Wong, the best player to ever touch the game. Hey, Yipes is really good at Marvel 2. Um, you always have to put like 120% when you're when you're fighting against him, just because if he touches you once, you might not actually get to play ever again. I would say that he's my hardest opponent that I would have to fight in the Marvel's Capcom series. But when Yipes wasn't on stage, he was in the back commentating with his friends, and he invented some phrases that commentators use to this day. So Damn! Oh, oh, the best lasers in the east, baby. Right. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, okay. Scoop. Okay. okay. Scoop. Okay. Oh, oh, oh somebody clip that. Oh. 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 That was nasty. That was oh my god. god. If you were to make a MVC2 Mount Rushmore, Yipes would be on it. In fact, in the 10 years that Evo ran Marvel 2, there were only four champions, and Yipes was one of them. So, uh, and this is no disrespect to nobody on that list, but ain't nobody on that list fucking with me, period. There's only three people that could defeat me in this game currently, which is Duck, Justin, Sanford. No one else stands a chance. But Marvel's popularity was constantly waning, and when Street Fighter IV, the game that brought the FGC back to life, came out, it was all but dead. In 2008, I still remember at one point looking around the room and going, I know like almost everybody here. Like, I'm not seeing new faces. But the game that really ended Marvel 2's tournament life was its sequel. X back to what? No missiles. Oh, wow. This is huge. Uh oh, the crowd doesn't know what to do anymore. Oh! Yikes! 3-0! Look at him! Look at him! I know, look at him! He is feeling himself right now! 
Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was the game that wasn't supposed to happen, but it was huge. People loved it, and for a time, it even overtook Street Fighter as the biggest game in the FGC. And of course, the hype's turned up, both to compete and commentate. But the FGC was changing. Over the course of Marvel 3's lifespan, esports began to take root in the FGC, which meant that gritty, old-school vibe that Yipes grew up with was starting to fade away. I quite frankly don't care about esports. That's just me. I came in the arcade era. I come from a rough, gritty side of things when it came to the FGC, and that made it very authentic for me, and it made it more fun. The thing that worries me is that the authenticity of it is going to get taken away, you know what I'm saying? To the point where we can't even have fun no more. It's just get on the stage, get the job done, get the fuck out, and then that's it. We'll see you later, peace out. So Yipes created his own tournament, one that would let all these new Marvel 3 players enjoy the kinds of regional rivalries that he grew up with. But just like its older brother, Marvel 3 began to decline after a few years. Yipes began to play and commentate other games, Dragon Ball Fighters, Street Fighter V, until eventually, Marvel 3 wasn't even at EVO. By 2018, the Marvel community was a shadow of its former self. Most players had moved on, leaving the diehards without any huge tournaments to compete in. And the game that caused Marvel's decline was its own sequel. When you just look at it, it just it doesn't look as polished. Like even the character select screen, the lags. But I mean, I do think overall, like the game is good. It's just that it also came out during the same time as Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So when you look at two games and you're like, hmm, should I play Mario Kart Infinite or Dragon Ball Fighter Z? You're obviously going to choose Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Between the poor graphics, disappointing roster, and competition from Dragon Ball Fighters, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite never really took off. Evo didn't put in the lineup the year it came out, and eventually, Capcom just kind of abandoned it. Uh, Marvel just, uh, we know it was on a slippery slope and it had a lot of competition going forward, and it just kind of fizzled. I, I, it was the main game for eight straight years. Like, it was crazy, but I don't think people are playing it, and that's the problem. We always had to support games that people actually play. It just, it didn't make the cut this year. Yipes decided to host his own Marvel tournament, but not just any Marvel game. Marvel 2. He called the tournament Battle of the Strongest 2, named after a legendary match he played back in the day. The tournament was just 10 Marvel 2 OGs duking it out in some dude's basement with Yipes and his friends commentating. By all accounts, it should have been a weird one-off blip, something that only the old heads could have ever cared about. But instead, everyone loved it. Proton Cannon! Ah, 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 oh shit! Your oh move. no, you cheap fuck. That was OD bait. Oh. That was OD bait. Camera, camera, camera. That was OD bait. Yo! I don't think he meant it to get it this big. It just organically happened that way. Mind you, like they're still doing Battle of the Strongest in a basement, right? It kind of brings that love and like that uniqueness of just like this is how Marvel 2 was back in the day. And I think it's because like sometimes I know obviously esports is esports, right? But there's times where we just kind of want to go back to our roots and play the games we love. And that's kind of what Yipes is like Battle of the Strongest it, like, feels like. But yeah, I mean, it played out great. You know, uh, what, I, what I appreciated the most from that event is obviously I was doing it with the homies, but the fact that everybody genuinely enjoyed it back at home. Like, this shit was crazy. Like, I'm talking about everywhere I went afterwards, people was talking about bots and bots and bots this, bots. I'm like, yo, like, I ain't know, like, it really touched it up like that. And I even spoke to organizers, two tournament organizers that do big events and stuff like that. And it was just like, yo, man, like, that was so, so real, so authentic. Like, I haven't seen something like that in a while. The tournament was such a huge success that Yipes had to bring it back for 2019. Yipes brought back the kind of tournaments that today's legends grew up with and that newer players have never gotten to experience. Battle of the Strongest 4 seemed like a lock, but nobody could have expected what happened next. But we got one little special surprise. Here, see, this is this is. <laughs> so this is we what got we got we got a big anniversary this year. It's okay. the 20th anniversary of a game that has been in our tournament in the past, and it was very popular. <laughs> you know what game yet. this is, Mike? <laughs> of course I do. All right, what game is that? I have no idea what game it is. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You're stupid. <laughs> It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Yes. So eight man tournament. <laughs> okay. Four of the people yeah. are invited to this tournament. And these okay. four people are the people that have won Evo. Mm -hmm. 
So that would be Justin Wong. Okay. That yes. would be Yipes. Yes. He's one. That would be Duck Doe. Oh, yes. He is one. Yes. And Sanford Kelly is wow. the fourth one. They're all invited to this invitational at Evo in okay. 2020. We don't know for sure if Evo is putting on a Marvel 2 tournament because of Battle of the Strongest, but Yipes doesn't really care about getting the credit. He just wants to give back to the community that he's been a part of for almost 20 years. No matter how I'm seen in FGC, whether it's a competitor or commentator, as long as, it's, as, long as I'm helping, helping with growing the scene in a positive and, and, and more energetic vibe, then that's fine with me, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people hold this ego, this strength about the past and mm -hmm. whatever the case is. I'm not about that shit, man. Right. I did what I did. I cemented my shit in history. That's it. Let's move forward, you know what I mean? Marvel vs. Capcom 2 may be 20 years old, but as long as guys like Yipes are around, it'll never die. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.